Oh my god. Shit. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my flawless. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. I think I just pulled a muscle. My flawless foundation routine. Basically, it's just gonna be my base routine. Honestly, for the past like month, I've just been using the same products every day. So it's kind of like a my favorite base product slash flawless foundation routine. That is a mouthful and a half. This is kind of like picture perfect makeup. Like it is gonna look like good. It's not gonna give you flashback. If you guys, ooh. If you guys are new to my channel, click that subscribe button down below and press the bell button so you don't miss any of my videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's get on into it. So the first thing you want to do, whether you have dry skin or not, is make sure that your face is moisturized and prepped. Obviously I've already done my skincare, like I've moisturized, I've exfoliated. I did that this morning when I got out of the shower because I'm clean. But to prep my skin before primer, this is kind of a hydrating primer. It is the Urban Decay Hot Springs Hydrating Gel. And I just take a dollop, ooh, that looks gross. Smack it on my face and rub it in. <laughs> and it's really lightweight, completely just like dissolves into your skin. But make sure your skin is like hydrated for foundation because otherwise you're gonna be looking a little cakey. You're gonna be looking like a little muffin out the oven. What? Now I use free primers, that's a little extra. But it is because I use a semi-matte foundation and since I'm using a semi-matte foundation, I don't want my face to look matte. Just because I'm not about the matte life, I'm more about the glow life, but I love the foundation formula. It's a complicated, it's complicated. So I use like glowy primers, a lot of them, to make sure that I get that glow. First one I use is the MAC Strobe Cream. There are so many drugstore dupes of this, like the L'Oreal Lumi Magique. I'm a little bit French. But I, if I've got this one, I'm gonna use it up. Like, it's expensive. It's expensive. I'm not just gonna like let this sit, but like once that's gone, I probably won't repurchase it. Whoa! Oh my god, I did not mean to put this much on. Oh my god. Okay, you defo don't need that much. Oh my god. Ow! The next product I use is the Fasali Rose Gold Elixir. This step's kind of optional, but I just love the way that this makes my skin feel. There are probably loads of drugstore oils as well. I just put three little drops on my face and rub it in. And this just makes your foundation apply on top of it so smoothly. And then finally, a little spritz. Use any priming spray, dewy spray. This one is the Pixie Makeup Mixing, Mixing, Fixing Fist. Oh, fixing Fist. Fixing, you know what, let me just start again. Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist. I love the smell of this as well, it's like rose water. For foundation, of course we're gonna use our mother Fenty Beauty Foundation. This is picture perfect. I'm going to an event today, so this is why I'm doing the picture perfect beat. The reason that I love this is because it doesn't get flashback. However, I am waiting, I'm waiting for Riri, for Robin Fenty to come out with a foundation which is more glowy. For my everyday, day-to-day -day basis, I said day way too many times. I want to look glowy. But if there is one thing that I recommend from the Fenty collection, it is hands down the foundation. <coughs> I literally change up the application of my foundation every time. Sometimes I'll use a beauty blender, sometimes I'll use a round top brush. Today I'm using a flat top brush and this is just one from Real Techniques. And I'm just stippling it in. And it looks a bit light for me, but it does oxidize a bit, so it will go to my skin tone. Oh man, I've got a pea-sized forehead, so this brush would literally take up the entire size of my forehead. So, I just go in with a smaller brush for this. This one is, again, from Fenty Beauty. Hashtag not spawn. But, Brianna, please sponsor me. I've not really found my, like, cult concealer yet. Oh my god, this shirt. It's so annoying! I'm, like, changing up my concealer all the time. Who can say A little bit just dropped out. I'm changing up my concealer all the time at the moment. I've been going for Tarte Shape Tape. I almost said Sharp. That would have been a roll. And this one is in the shade Light Neutral. 
and I don't go in with loads of this. It looks like it's a horrific colour for my skin, but that's because this foundation will oxidise down and then trust me, it will look good. I just use the Fenty brush, which I use for the top of my foundation to start to buff it in. I like this concealer, but it's not like, it's my favourite that I own at the moment, but it's not my favourite concealer just because I like quite a glowy under eye and this one's quite like full coverage, but it does hide everything. Dress me out, brown man. I'll then just go in with the Beauty Blender. This one's from NYX, so it's not a beauty blender, I guess. Beauty sponge, whatever you want to call it. This one's perfect for under eye because I don't know if you can see. I mean, it's dirty as fuck, so please ignore that. But it's like, it got a slanted like ridge, so it is perfect for getting in there. It's hard to get to these spots. I feel like I'm like a cleaning advert, you know, on the TV where it's like, bang, and the dirt is gone. Easy for those hard to get to spots. I don't know why I did that voice, I just feel like that's what like how people when they're on TV ads speak. I don't set my entire face just because I've got dry skin and it will like look a bit cake. But I do set my under eyes just because I don't know. And I just used this Charlotte Tilbury powder, but the only reason I'm using this is because it was so expensive and like I'm not gonna let it go to waste. And I'm just taking a little bit on this Real Techniques contour brush and I'm just putting it, tapping it under my eye. I don't have time to bake. Like, does it look like I have time to bake? No, I've gotta, I've, come on, we gotta get out the door. Literally though, I'm always running late, so that's a ride. When you're running late, you don't have time to bake. <laughs> For my bronzer, I this is my favourite bronzer. It is the Hula Light bronzer from Benefit. I used to use like the dark Hula as my bronzer and honestly, I don't know how. I find that this is actually my favourite brush to bronze with. This is the NYX 24 brush, but because it's like, it's quite like the opposite of dense, I don't know what that is. <laughs> so it like spreads it out and it stops you from like look, going overboard with bronzer because I know that is so easy to do. And I will just take the bronzer up at my temples along her bronzing our face to give our face a little bit of warmth, you know, bring some sunshine to it because the foundation and like concealer made us look quite 2D. It's making us look a little bit more alive. This bronzer is literally stunning. 911, what's your emergency? I've lost my contour kit. I've been using this again recently. I used this about like a year ago and then I didn't use it for like a year. <laughs> um, but it's the Anastasia contour kit. I'm actually, <laughs> this looks so trashy, but I'm missing a shade. I don't know where it's gone. But the shade I used to contour is this middle shade here. I'm pretty sure it is the shade Fawn. You can buy these shades singularly, I think. So you can buy them and stick them in a Z palette instead. And I use the Kat Von D shade and light palette. And I'm pretty sure this isn't a palette brush to start it off and to start to work it in. But because I don't like too harsh of a contour, I leave it like this. <laughs> I'm joking. I go in with like a more of a bigger brush and start to buff it out because that way this is a clean brush. So we've not got any excess product on it. Personally, I don't know. I'm not that good with contour. So I find that by doing this, it makes it less. What's the word? What's the word that we're looking for? Hard to blend and less like muddy. And I just kind of leave it at that. It's just like a little bit of contour. For blush, I use this one from Marc Jacobs, but it is just because I love this peachy color up at the top. Honestly though, just buy a peachy blush at the drugstore. I do really like the sleek Life's a Peach blush. And I take this on a Zoeva Luxe sheer cheek brush. Yeah. And I don't like to use too much blusher just because <coughs> I do get quite red in the face naturally. But I just use it so it's not quite a stark contrast from highlight to contour. I'm extra and I use two highlighters. So the first one I go in with is the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion. I'm pretty sure there's only two shades. There's like a pinky one and a goldy one. And I use the goldy one. As you can see, it is completely bust. But first, I spray my face with some Makeup Fixing Mist because I don't like to spray it setting spray once my lashes are on. So I'll spray it at this point because it will also make the highlight pop. But I spray it one half at a time. So I'll spray it on this half, go in with highlight, spray it on this half, go in with highlight. The highlight brush I use is this one from Anastasia. It is the A23 brush, my favorite highlighting brush. And then as you can see, that's quite a nice highlight. You can leave it there, but I'm extra. And I will go in with the Becca Jaclyn Hill highlighter. <sighs> this one is, I mean, it is really something. And I still use it. I, I just basically use it as a loose highlight. And I just go in over the top of that a little bit on the nose. <laughs> and then onto the other side. So tonight, 
Take me to the other side. Was that Jason Derulo who sang that song? Where's he gone? Is he still alive? Is that offensive? Also, I always take my highlighter up just above my brow, just a little bit, and that will make you look so glowy. I'm actually going to show you guys how I do my folk, faux, faux, folk. I tried to say folk and faux at the same time and it came off as folk. My folk freckles, that's a new nickname for them. Because a couple of you guys have been asking and I guess it's kind of to do with my base. I take my Benefit, precisely my brow pencil. I'll move in for this. Hey there. That was cringe. And first off, I'll just go around my nose. Just gonna tap it in. You can just follow- Oh shit, I did not mean to do that there. So this is what my face looks like before, and then you're done, jokes. I don't have any precise order, I literally just go in randomly, just freehand. But then I'll take a beauty blender and just dab on over the top of it. I do mine quite intense, because I like people to notice them. But if you want a more subtle look, just don't go in maybe as heavy handed with the brush, and then with the brush, with the brow pencil. And don't do as many, like I've done mine like in quite close proximity, just do yours a bit more spread out. And I mean, it is a real arm muscle workout, because it takes so long to blend them in. I may sometimes take a little bit on the top of, onto the, my, <laughs> onto my forehead as well, just to make it look a bit more natural. And that is the finish. Look, can you even see them? For some reason my camera's really bad at picking them up. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a, ooh. Please give it a big thumbs up, click that red subscribe button down below. I know you want to. And I'll see you guys very soon for a brand new video. Bye.